Today we're covering the new tools in Photoshop 2025. Should we get into it? I say dig on in. Let's jump in. So the first thing we're gonna show you is actually the gradients tool got a big update. We're gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate this background layer. And then we're gonna go here in the contextual taskbar to remove background. So we're gonna hit G for the gradient tool or you can click on it right here in your toolbar. So we're gonna start off with a radial gradient here. On a layer under our subject, we're gonna go to create a new layer here. We're gonna click and drag out. You have controls of your gradient within the contextual taskbar. And I can go in anything that I click on, it automatically updates. I like that one already. That looks really cool. So you can also reverse right here in the contextual taskbar. Ooh, that's cool. This is a brand new feature. And then I have my properties. Let's just go up here. I'm gonna just choose a black to white gradient to start. We're gonna go ahead and click on this point here in the middle, and then we're gonna go to our little color picker. For the very outside, let's go ahead and click on this point. We go ahead and click on our color, and then I'm gonna choose a dark color within our subject's jacket. And you see I have a little arrow with a plus icon there, and it's going to add a new point to the gradient. I'm gonna just go ahead and make this gradient invisible real quick. And I'm gonna use my crop tool and I'm gonna click right here on generative expand. So we're gonna hit controller command E to merge those together. We have this background that I got from Adobe stock. There we go. So we're gonna set it from normal to soft light and then you have some of the lighting effects over top of the gradient. I'm gonna hit controller command T for transform. We're gonna right click and I'm gonna go to where it says flip horizontal and vertical. But you know what? You don't have to do that anymore because you have it here in the contextual taskbar. That bar. contextual taskbar. It's really great. Is your new home. We are on to our next tool. Now this is in beta. So we're gonna go to our object selection tool here. So now we can select people with the object selection tool, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. If I click on this person, I now can segment this. I can select just his hair or his eyebrows. So we're gonna go ahead and select his coat. And you can see we have a perfect selection of that coat. I'm gonna go down to a new adjustment layer and we're gonna go to a hue saturation adjustment layer. That selection that I made of my subject's coat is automatically loaded into the layer mask. Right. I can now go to my hue slider here and look at this, how simple and easy is this? This piece of clothing here, Maybe I want this to be like a fur jacket. Wait, what? My client has already provided me a photograph of the jacket. Voila! We're gonna go to our brand new object selection tool. We're gonna go up to where it says select people. Let's go ahead and click on our person and then we're gonna go to where it says upper clothes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to generative fill. You can use a picture as a reference. So okay. I don't even have to type anything in. I'm like, dig, 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 don't miss this. This is so fantastic. We're gonna go to where it says choose image. Well, I have my sample images here. here. Let's click on open. Check this out, remove background. Look at this, it's gonna cut that coat out of the background, including the coat hanger. We're gonna click on this X to get out of it. And you can see we have a little blue checkbox letting us know we are using a reference image. So let's go ahead and click on generate. And look at this, we have this fur coat now. Now our next brand new tool, this is new in Photoshop 2025. We have one click remove. Wait, what? They just keep making the remove yeah. tool better yes. and better. So we're gonna say auto. This button simply says find distractions. It can identify wires and cables, but it can also identify people in the background. So let's go ahead and click on people. It's gonna find people, look at that. Y'all saw that, right? And then look at this. All I have to do is click on that checkbox or hit enter. This is going to remove all of these people from the background of our photo. Like that just happened while I no, was talking that's about that. crazy. The next brand new tool of Photoshop 2025 is an update to the frame tool. So I'm gonna just grab a rectangular frame tool here. I'm gonna just click and drag. I can import an image and it'll display directly in that frame or I can generate an image. I'm gonna just type in tarts and pie in all caps apparently. Tarts and pie, give me tarts and pie. And I can simply go through these different images. I have the frame, but I also have my sample image. And then I'm just gonna scale this down. Wow. Okay, and it's gonna stay inside. The frame tool is now crazy powerful. You just yeah. simply select an area you would like to make a frame and then generate an image and it's gonna display right there. Five things that I did not know. Oh my already. gosh, well that so is. So this has been absolutely amazing for me and you are so good at communicating. Thank you so Photoshop. much, Lisa. So it's been an absolute amazing. pleasure.